So team, welcome back to the continuation day 9 for our Selenium training. What we will do starting today is we will start a new project on a keyword driven framework. Okay. So how we're going to go about with keyword driven, what is the whole approach we're going to discuss. But before that, a very quick thing. I was talking about this data provider that I wanted to give you access to on uh, test ng right so how do you create very simple data driven framework with a very simple concept called there's an annotation called data provider now that video is how here in the test ng basic okay i'm assuming you've seen this because these are the ones that i've mentioned that you should also watch in the videos right so apart from this uh, the web driver were the other things that i wanted you to watch overall get a good idea basic idea that will help us to move forward better all right now so the test ng basic video has a lot of information on annotations but it also talks about how you use data provider as a class uh, as an annotation to be able to pass simple sets of data uh, it is not as powerful and as strong as a excel driven data driven framework but it is still important for you to know because a lot of companies use it so please do watch this video test ng basic annotations that's the title all right team now very quick question have you all watched the videos on web driver okay could not watch all that's fine so team important for you to watch them so please try and watch them as you can so that way you're able to uh, move forward we are able to move forward better now before i go into the keyword even framework let me quickly explain what this keyword even framework is all about a quick glimpse at it but then what we will do is we'll slowly go towards developing it how we develop practically and so on now the concept is very simple team when I had one test case or one scenario, like in the Chase student loans where I took uh, simple sets of data and I started to import, I did this using multiple sets of test data. X I'm saying as multiple sets. Okay. So one test case or one test scenario or very few test cases or few scenarios and then use multiple test data to test the application to see if is it working for this scenario for different sets of data right and that was your data driven framework right that's your data driven framework the keyword driven framework the whole concept is what happens if i have lots of test cases and test scenarios okay i have lots of test cases and test scenarios that i need to test but i will try and test it only for a one set of data then we will develop something called as a keyword driven framework that will again achieve those three most important criteria the efficiency of testing it so that we don't spend too much time in automating uh, I mean initial automation there will be effort but ongoing maintenance will be easy the tests run much faster than what we do manually we can reuse them as the application goes through changes every time we should be able to run the same tests with zero or minimal changes so that we are not losing back on efficiency. So reusability is very important and accuracy. Unless we are sure that these are accurate, we cannot test them. Okay. So how do we develop this keyword driven framework where I can have multiple test scenarios and one set of test data uh, and go about developing it? To do this, forget about Selenium for some time. 